Hello everyone, Alvin here with Michigan Gone Wild. I want to thank you guys for watching my 2014 Kansas deer hunt that aired last week, a little over a week ago actually. And uh, if you haven't seen that, you can check it out right here. But until then, we'll leave a link down at the bottom for you. We got a lot of questions and a lot of comments in regards to the public land uh, that I referenced a couple times in the video. I just want to reiterate that I was not hunting on public land when I harvested my deer. Uh, we were actually scouting public land when we saw a neighboring property. We decided to ask the farmer that owned that property and we got access to his property. So with that being said, we got a lot of questions about the public land and where to find it. So we're doing this video to show you guys where to find it. The WIHA, which is the Walk-In Hunting Access Program, was founded in 1995 by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. They wanted to get more hunters engaged and fulfill the tradition that Kansas offers uh, for the outdoors, uh, specifically hunting. To start off, you're going to want to go to the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. From there, you're going to see on the main page, on the right-hand side, you're going to see a link called the 2014 Fall Hunting Atlas. Obviously, you're not going to be planning for the 2014 because it's already 2015. So, by the time they update it, you're going to see the 2015 or years past that you plan on going hunting. However, you're going to want to click on that and what that's going to bring you up to is the WIHA, which is the Walk-In Hunting Access Program. There's going to be a whole list of maps there, uh, interactive ones, and the PDF ones. From there, you can choose which one you want to use. I enjoy using the one that's pretty much like Google Earth because it shows an overlay of the property that's accessible to hunt for the public, uh, but also shows an aerial photo, which just gives me a good idea of an area that I would want to hunt. If you're like me, a non-resident, you're going to have to uh, apply for the uh, Schedule B. You're going to apply between April 1st and April 24th. Do not miss that because tags are hard to come by on the over-the-counter. However, if there is any of the over-the-counter available, they're going to be available around July 1st of every year. If you applied and you weren't successful, you can always take that route and get a leftover tag. Well, I hope this helps you guys out and uh, your next adventure. If it's to Kansas, you obviously you got a great starting point of where to find the public land. And uh, this is also going to give you a good idea which unit you want to apply for. Remember to do that between April 1st and the 24th. If you guys didn't see my Kansas deer hunt, you can check it out right here. Uh, I'll also leave a link down below, or you can go to our YouTube channel and check out that episode and a bunch more. Just a quick reminder to all you Michiganiacs, your 2015 spring turkey drawing results will be posted March 2nd. So go ahead and go to the Michigan DNR website and check those out. This is Alvin Sickhevage with Michigan Gone Wild wishing everyone happy hunting, tight lines, and as always, stay wild.